Most of the eyes at Howard would feel this past weekend were on the athletes who were competing. There were plenty of people right alongside them, making the state track meet possible. If you've been to a track meet in the state of South Dakota within the past 42 years, chances are you've seen Steve Sharon standing along the lanes. Well, when I moved to Huron uh, years ago, they were running out of people that uh, were starting track meets, and uh, they recruited me to do it, and I fell in love with the sport. Uh, I coached it a little bit, and uh, been here ever since. During the state meet, every class is assigned their own designated starter. The reason for that being the uh, athletes get used to one person, so we try to stay consistent. So the B boys will do all B boys, the B girls will do all B girls, and I have the double A boys, which is always an honor to work. As a starter, a lot of people just think we shoot a gun, but there's a lot of things that come into play. For instance, you have an outside uh, issue with somebody uh, yelling out something at the start and somebody jumps. Um, you know, or maybe the, they have an announcement to make and, and they become distracted. We have to bring them up and, and start them over again to be fair to them. So there's a lot more things going on than what most people realize at the start. With his 42nd year as a track official now in the books, he hopes to make it 43 come next spring. People keep asking me when I'm going to retire, and I sometimes think that's a suggestion, but I still feel well, and as long as uh, my health is good and I can get around, uh, uh, I'm going to miss the kids when I go, but uh, kids and coaches, but uh, for right now, I'm doing okay. In Sioux Falls, Tanner Castora, Kello Land Sports. Aaron says of all the different races he's officiated, his favorite is the 4x4.